one of the biggest things going on right now in San Francisco is just open air drug markets, people smoking crack on the streets, homelessness everywhere, homeless encampments everywhere. And there's actually some Chinese tourists that actually go into San Francisco and they see this kind of stuff and they're actually kind of scared, right? Like they see crazy high amounts of homelessness, tents everywhere, there's urine, there's feces. It's just not safe to walk around the downtown area of San Francisco despite it being like such a vibrant place. I mean, this is everywhere. Okay? This is actually a very common scene in San Francisco. Not to mention stores are empty, streets are getting more vacant, and this sort of craziness is everywhere in San Francisco. It's no longer restricted to just the Tenderloin District, but it's spreading out to even the tourist traps and even American tourists. We Americans don't even want to go to San Francisco, let alone international tourism. So there's a new report saying that Chinese tourists notably absent from San Francisco. The numbers are showing this. So San Francisco saw a lot of tourists for the 4th of July, but there's one catch about it, which is Chinese tourists have pretty much disappeared from going to San Francisco. Now, some may say, oh, isn't China in like a lockdown right now? Actually, no, they actually lifted the lockdown ban after the protest back in January. In fact, if you go to China right now, a lot of people aren't even wearing masks and they're actually traveling everywhere. But if you look at some of the Chinese vloggers, they actually say that San Francisco is just a cesspit of drugs. And also what they say is just crackheads, urine, there's poop on the floor, stores are vacant, and the chances of getting robbed or stabbed on the streets is extremely high. It's a very dangerous city to visit. And people are actually very shocked about how fast America's tech capital deteriorated. I'm shocked as well because I visited this pre-pandemic. It wasn't even that bad. It was still bad, but it wasn't this bad. In fact, it's so bad that you got already small business owners leaving. You already have, you know, big corporations leaving. You have like, you have Nordstrom leaving, Whole Foods leaving, Anthropology leaving. I mean, it's crazy. Like, you know, like every single car virtually is getting broken in. You know, shops are being robbed and the police just doesn't care. San Francisco police budget. It's not high enough, in my opinion. And look at all of these shops just being boarded up. A lot of these are closed. And give it a few more years like this, it's going to be deserted. Now, even now, if you walk through San Francisco's downtown, what everyone says, it's very empty, okay? There's just nobody in downtown. And despite downtown during, like, the working day, it's supposed to be filled with people in suits and also tech startups. But a lot of these tech guys have already left. And the reason why the vacancies are only 30% is because the lease hasn't ended for a lot of companies. Whereas most companies, they're still leasing these units because they're signing a contract, but they've already moved. So give it another 12 months or six months, you're gonna see the vacancy rates go up because none of those guys are gonna renew their lease. And a lot of the Chinese tourists are actually very scared of San Francisco. And that sucks for us. So where most Chinese tourism are going to is like Thailand, they're surprisingly going to the Middle East a lot recently, like Qatar, the UAE, Saudi Arabia. We're also seeing an increase of European tourism from Chinese tourists. We're also seeing a lot of Chinese tourists going to Japan. And of course, Singapore. That's another very hot one. But nobody wants to go to San Francisco. So what a lot of them are saying in the Chinese blogs are there's so many first world countries and first world cities out there. And they all said that San Francisco was the worst among all of them. Because all the other cities I've listed and all the places I've listed, like for example, Rome, you know, if you go to Tokyo, Osaka, you go to Singapore, if you go to Doha, there's no open air drug markets. There's no just crackheads running around. There's no homeless people on the streets everywhere. There's no tents on the sidewalks everywhere. They say it was just San Francisco. They said it was actually crazy to see that kind of stuff in the first world tech capital. And that's really shameful. You know, that's actually very embarrassing for us. And we need to fix this up ASAP because tourism, even international tourism isn't coming. Guys, when the Chinese tourists are saying this kind of stuff, you know the city is so bad to the point it's probably unlivable. And if you show that, like if you look at this, you know, the San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge is the latest doom loop, pandemic tolls down 30%. This really does show you that nobody wants to go to San Francisco anymore. It's basically a dead city. Okay, if you look at the commutes to the city, it's very low because most of the offices, though it's still rented, are empty. 
Okay, these are essentially just zombie buildings at this point. The landlords don't want these buildings because the maintenance is crazy high. The banks don't want them. The city doesn't want them. Nobody wants them. Okay, this is why San Francisco buildings are selling for at least a bare minimum 50% off to 80% off. And the vacancies are rising. And as companies leave, more companies will leave with them. Now, you probably have seen this situation about the AI saving commercial real estate in San Francisco. I'll call BS on this because sure, AI is amazing, you know, it can solve a lot of things. But when the core problem is the city just can't fix itself up no matter how much money you throw at it and nobody's coming back, I don't think commercial real estate in San Francisco will ever recover. Now, you probably have also heard news about how AI is actually bringing a lot of workers in San Francisco. That is also not true. I mean, I'll give them that that AI is bringing a few hundred to maybe a thousand or two workers to San Francisco, but the majority of people are leaving in droves. The net flow is still super negative. And it sucks, right? I and mean, this is one of the best looking cities, in my example. You know, this city has so much culture, so much history, and it's all ruined at this point. Nobody wants to live here because they just can't keep anything under control. And not to mention the location of the city is pretty awesome. And check this out. You know, you got Westfield. They were in business in San Francisco for several decades. And for the first time in those seven decades, you know, they are done with this. Westfield has fully given up the San Francisco Center and they have fully pulled the business from the city. And they're done. Okay, they don't want to stay in the city anymore. And what Westfield says is other retail stores that they have in the nation have a vacancy of 3 to 5%. San Francisco was about 50%. So do the math there and look at how bad San Francisco is. Essentially, Westfield says that street conditions are so bad, tourism is down, and also the daily foot traffic is very low because of the amount of people who moved out of the city. Guys, everyone was joking how the San Francisco might be Detroit 2.0 and it might really be because the city is actually benefiting from San Francisco's downfall are going to be Las Vegas, Austin, Miami, and several other cities spread out. We're actually seeing tech startups popping up in Sin City. We're seeing tech startups popping up in the hospitality industry area like Miami and even in Austin, for example, which initially didn't really have a tech scene. But now with Tesla there, we're seeing a lot of talent being attracted there. So San Francisco, it is a no-go, okay? And the chance of them cleaning up a lot of this stuff is probably slim to none due to the fact that they spent decades trying to clean the Tenderloin district and they never did and were never successful. San Francisco is now truly screwed when you have big corporations pulling out at a speed like this, at a speed that I've never seen before, okay? If you go to other first world cities, a lot of companies, they just stay because the street conditions are good, okay? You don't get robbed on the streets of Tokyo. You won't get robbed on the streets of Shanghai. I and mean, that's just how it is. But on San Francisco, you get robbed on the streets. And this is why a lot of CEOs, tech bros, they're gone. And I hope San Francisco fixes itself up. Seriously, they need to fix themselves right now.